So Vita Moonlight has now been updated to version 0.6.1 and it's released with a fix for the stream delay issue. So this is actually a very good issue that has been fixed. Um, as it says here, the stream delay and desync issue is no more. So I made a video on this quite a while ago, maybe even like six months ago or something like that. So I just thought I'd redo it. There's probably been some different changes. I know um, the NVIDIA software that we use has had a few updates. So the whole like where you find everything Thing, that's all kind of different now. So yeah, I just thought I would remake this tutorial and hopefully um, it's still as simple as it was last time. So Moonlight only works on NVIDIA graphics cards and what it does is streams your PC NVIDIA games onto your PlayStation Vita. It's kind of like the NVIDIA Shield. So yeah, it basically turns your PS Vita into the NVIDIA Shield. If you guys know what that is, it's basically like a handheld device um, where you can stream your PC games and stuff like that. So what you guys want to do is you want to go over to the link in the description. You must have the GeForce experience installed. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card above the 650 Ti, you will be able to follow along if you have an old one make sure to look at my other video on this it's not moonlight but it's something else which also works and if you have an MD graphics card you will also have to follow my other tutorial as well this only works on new or I'd say new I'd say 2013 plus NVIDIA graphics cards so yeah make sure you have the GeForce experience I mean you probably already have this installed if you have a GeForce graphics card and then you want to go to the next link in the description this is moonlight this is the latest version so this was released yesterday release 0.6.1 scroll down and we're just going to click on this moonlight.vpk so just click on that and that will begin downloading the next link or the final link in the description these will be all of the games that, that are supported now you can actually view your desktop so you can pretty much just play any game really like any game you can think of but these are the games that which actually play the best these are the games that are designed for the shield so of course they're going to work really well with moonlight so i'd recommend searching for your game so what you want to do is press ctrl f on your keyboard I'm going to test out Fortnite because that's a game I've got installed. So as you can see, Fortnite here is supported and it works perfectly fine. So I will be playing Fortnite over using Moonlight. So what you want to do first is just make sure you go and start up the GeForce Experience. So I'm just going to search mine. You go GeForce Experience. I'm going to start this up. If you have this installed already, I would recommend up updating all of the drivers and um, before I updated the drivers this wouldn't actually work so make sure you update your drivers um, just to make sure this is going to be working properly and it actually takes a while to load so yeah we're just going to wait for this so as you guys know on the home page it displays all your games I'm going to be playing Fortnite but what we want to do is go up to the settings and just click on this we're then looking for the features tab here now on the features tab we will actually be able to go to game stream so it says stream your games to your Nvidia Shield if you click on this you should be able to check if you have it so as you can see it says it works on a GPU which is a 600 series or above um, my rig is right here so I've got the GTX 970 so that is perfect um, um, you need RAM um, yeah everything else seems to be perfectly fine next we need to click on shield right here and we might want to make sure that game stream is turned on it might be turned off by default that is why you just want to make sure this is turned on so just go to it turn it on and it should just start up just give it a couple of seconds and now what we can do is go to our downloads folder and find our moonlight.vpk my PS Vita is actually plugged in so I'm just gonna press select on it and there you go, now it's on there. We're just going to drag and drop it across Moonlight to the root of my PS Vita. So there you go, that's it for the computer. Let's go back onto my PS Vita, let's set up Moonlight, and let's try and get Fortnite running on my PS Vita. Okay guys, so now on my PS Vita, what we can do is we can just go onto the UXO, and we can go and find my um, Moonlight.vpk. So I'm in Vita Shell, you guys should know how to copy across files, but let's just go and install Moonlight right now. I haven't actually set it up before um, on this PS Vita, well it's been wiped since I last made a video on it. So let's just go and install it, and once it's done installing, we will be able to check it out. So let's just close out the Vita Shell, now it's done. Oh, that was the last app as well, PC Link. That works with everything. I have a video on that on my channel, so if you search PC Link, you'll be able to find a video on how to set that up. Anyway, let's just close out the VG shell and let's go and launch up Moonlight. So there it is over on my home screen. This is the latest version, 0.6.1. Let's go and start this up. And what we need to do from here is click on search devices. So just press X on this one. 
it should come up with your computer automatically and your IP address. If it doesn't, you have to enter in the IP address manually. As you can see for me, it says James PC, that's my computer's name, and it has my IP address on there. Your IP address will be different than mine, but let's just press X, and it's actually going to connect to it. So it's going to say, test connecting to. So this is the code we have to enter in on our computer. Yours will be different from mine, but mine is 0828. I don't know how long this lasts for, but just do it as, you know, as soon as the code comes up. So mine was 0828. Enter in your custom code, and now just click on connect. And now what it's going to do is connect to your um, PlayStation Vita. So the screen might alter a bit, or it might just connect without it. Um, let's just wait and see. So now you can see it's selected on paired computers. We can actually just press X on that. And now it's just going to start connecting to it. And here you go, it's going to tell you your IP and your computer's graphics cards. And mine says the GPU is the GeForce GTX 970. It also says the GFE on there. Anyway, we need to find a game. So I said I was going to play Fortnite. Or we could play Minecraft. Have I got Minecraft installed? Yeah, should we just play Minecraft, I guess? All right, let's do that. So what you have to do is just press X on your game, and it's going to start streaming. Now, if Minecraft wasn't open, it should actually open up on your computer right now. And um, then we can just try and play it and see if it works. So there you go. It's now connected to my computer screen. This is what my computer looks like. We can actually control this with the touchpad. Um, if we drag the mouse, as you can see, I'm dragging the mouse around like that. And as you can see, the Minecraft launcher is actually starting up. So, oh, I'm not signed in. Okay, so that's why I didn't load. I'm going to go and sign in, and we can test this out and see if it works. Okay, guys, so on Minecraft Java Edition, when did it say that? Anyway, I think we should be able to play it. So let's just go on to single player. I have not played this in so long. What have we got? Stolen Treasure? I don't know what this is. These are like 2017 maps. Let's just play this one. Play Selected World. This world was played in an old version. I'll back up and load then. Alright, we're going to try and load this world anyway. I don't know, I haven't played Minecraft in such a long time. But we're going to try and load into it. Okay, so it's backing it up or something. Okay, so here you go. We're now on the PC version of Minecraft. And as you can see, we can scroll around and everything like that. I'm just noticing the PS Vita controls aren't working. They do actually work in Steam games. But for some reason, they're not working on Minecraft. I don't know, what is that? Does Minecraft not support controllers or something? I probably should have checked before testing out this. But anyway, Moonlight seems to be working perfectly fine. If you want to see some gameplay, um, you can check out my last video. I played Rocket League and everything like that. And it worked perfectly fine with no issues. And I've actually noticed um, just the whole thing is a lot more better. It's like... Um Less delay, you can use the mouse and there's not really a delay, maybe like one second before, maybe it was about three seconds. It's improved a lot, it's definitely more, um, you know, just a lot better, the performance is just a lot better. So yeah, that is pretty much it, I guess, that is how you use this. Oh, it looks like we can double tap as well, so we can like break blocks and stuff. I have no idea. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That is a new version of Moonlight. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.